Hi guys, it is September 13th, no, yes, September 13th, it's my nephew's birthday, 13th, 16th, 16th, it's my nephew's birthday, he turns 10, so I've just called him and said happy birthday to him, I've just been trying to organize my calendar, I'll show you. So down here is the rest of September, no down these last two is the rest of September and then look at my October already like trip to Christchurch for my niece's 10th birthday trip to Rotorua for my um, godson's 10th birthday girls weekend um, upcoming rent increase upcoming hair appointment, upcoming Disney cruise, <laughs> upcoming staff Christmas party, and then next year I've already got on here pink, and my niece is coming up from Christchurch for the Jonas Brothers concert. So life is really crazy and busy. But one of the things I wanted to say was, far out, I'm watching Tara Lipinski's YouTube Unexpected, and literally, if you've ever, I mean, obviously every single person's journey is different, but similarly the same. And if you ever wanted to kind of like fully understand what I was going to through that I didn't, um, obviously I didn't capture anything um, during that time I had a vlog, um, but that's all I had. I didn't have a blog, so I had a blog, like a written blog that I don't even know if anyone can even get into anymore, um, called the joys and sorrows of infertility or something like that. But I had one of those on blogs when you did blogs back in the day. But anyways, Tara Lipinski's unexpecting seriously just is giving me all the feels it's giving me all the feels and reminding me that I have so much hope I said it to the girls last night it is crazy it's always crazy how much of a desire to be a mom I have always been and some of you watching this absolutely know that desire I mean my one friend was drawing me pictures for my kids wall murals when she was like 12 and she watches this video hi i still have those pictures somewhere i just don't know where but i still i know i've seen them um but that seems like a lifetime ago and she has four kids anyways <laughs> um yeah crazy and so i was saying to the girls last night like I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen. But I have got that mustard seed faith that it is going to happen. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a baby that I push out of my own self. Uh, a child that is resulting in shared love. I do not under know if it is a child resulting in more fertility treatment. Because I don't have the money right now, but... Let me tell you, Tara Lipinski has, like, like, got all these tests that I didn't do. That I'm like, gosh, if I had lots of money right now, I think I would go get those tests done um, to see. And, yeah, they're really expensive here. The one test that she's telling everybody to get is $2,800 just for the test. Um, but yeah, like I didn't get to test my embryos to see if they were viable or anything like that. And I, uh, I so wish, but there was no way we had the money at that time. Like, yeah, it's hard. Like I'm even tempted to be like, okay, well, why don't I see if I could freeze any of my eggs now to do it later? But I mean, I'm kind of old for that now, and I don't even know if they would really let me um, or anything about that. And the expense, obviously, it's an expensive thing to do. Um, 
but anyways, if you ever want to know like what I'm going through, what I have gone through and what I'm continuing to go through in grief and loss, she is just nailing it. She is so well spoken. She's literally nailing everything on the head. And so is Todd, her husband, who's actually saying his perspective, which is so crazy to me because I didn't know what my ex's perception was during that time because he was so closed off. So it's cool to hear a male's perspective like going through it as well. And like it makes me wonder, oh, was I like that a little bit? Because I don't remember that time. And I know that my ex says that I was like a crazy freaking freak. Um, I mean, I don't think I was quite as bad as Tara was. But still. But yeah, seriously, she is just putting me through like all the emotions. No, I have not cried. Um, but seriously, the way that she is describing and descripting how she's feeling and 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 everything that goes on like she talks about such real things to kind of get rid of the stigma um and to really like ah oh, make us feel like we're not alone and i feel like she's the first person who i've watched a blog on who's not been successful and is actually pinpointing all these crucial things so please 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 if you know anyone who is going through infertility or or you just want to have a glimpse they're like 45 minute episodes of her talking and stuff um but she's olympic figure skater 1998 i was obsessed with her as a younger child as a teenager i was obsessed with her i've had her books i had like oh magazines i had everything I still have her books. Um, she's amazing in what she accomplished. And uh, she's just giving such a real, real perspective. Yeah. And just making you feel like, wow, I wasn't crazy for feeling that. And wow, other people do think like that. And wow, other people aren't as accept, like aren't as um, successful, even celebrities. Who you just feel like it's being pushed in your face. But yeah. Anyways. I I have got faith and hope that this is going to happen for me. And I don't know how. I don't know if someone's just going to walk up to me one day. And be like I know someone who is pregnant. Who needs to give their baby away. Like would you be open to that? I don't know. But I feel like it's coming. Um... I've been feeling like change and like big things are coming in the last, uh, like even before I went away, like April, March, April, like something massive is happening and I do not know what it is. But the one thing I do know is that I almost feel like the pull to be a mom and that like hope and that like determination to be a mom is like a thousand times stronger now than it was before like I've just got confidence that one I could do this on my own if I have to I don't want to but if I have to I can and yeah I don't want to be an old mom like I thought about it I said to the girls last night like even if I have a baby at 50 but I was like I really don't want to Because you want to be able to watch them grow up and you want to be able to have, to see them with their kids and be a grandma. Um, yeah, it's all those things that people don't think about that you're missing out on as well. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm not even going to go into there. But anyways, this was just supposed to be like five seconds long, but it ended up being like 10 minutes long. Um, I am getting my new glasses tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, my flatmate's mom is taking me and I'm going to get a test tomorrow about my eyes because there's a squiggle that they have seen the last five years. I've gone to the eye doctors in the last five years. I think I've gone three times or four times and they keep seeing the squiggle 
on my veins. They said my eyes look healthy, but they're worried about these squiggles. And it's on one specific eye. I think it might be my bad eye, but I'm not sure. Anyways, they're a little bit worried about it, so they're trying to figure it out. But they're saying behind my eyes is all healthy, and overall my eye is healthy, but yeah, they're just freaking out. Um, but yes, it's going to be nice because I am getting issues with my eyes. I am getting a little bit more vertigo because I feel like I am probably, yeah, constantly. Like even when I have my hand like this, I can see that I am, like I can see my hand. So I definitely am looking out like the corner of my eyes, so it's not getting very well. But yeah, so I am stoked that my glasses are going to come in and it hasn't taken very long and I'm going to get that done tomorrow. Anyways, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to try to see if I can get my airpoints back from my trip home. I am going to try to play my game. It's like insanely going, making me crazy um, playing this game. I'm going to binge watch a series, Surviving Summer, the second season, um, while I play my game. I'm going to try to do some work because I have some professional development this week on my professional growth cycle. So I want little cards that I can write up of things I want to say to kids, questions I want to ask the kids, and questions I want to ask to um, adults. Now, one thing I will say, last time I had my meeting on my one-on-one, -on -one, not rocket science, but um, one of the things she said is don't ask the question why. Take the question why out of your vocabulary. Now, you might be asking, why? Because the minute you asked why, why are you doing that? Why are you thinking that? Blah, blah, blah. Your defenses go up. They automatically go up and they do it. They do it. And that's the problem with like mentorships and stuff like that. Because the minute they start asking you, why did you do what you did? You're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to say the wrong thing. So it's wording it as, can you tell me a little bit more about that? How did you come to that conclusion? What was your thinking behind? Not that I'm going to ask kids those types of questions, but I've got a question, three sets of questions that I want to start asking with kids um, to get them thinking outside the box and if you as a parent are watching this and want to do that the questions that i want to ask i've gotten a booklet somewhere here hold on hold on is it in the back here no where is it okay james i don't know where it is oh I thought it was, oh, it's probably on top. Of course it is. Of course it is? Yes. In my book. Okay, I will briefly tell you the questions. Because mine is how to facilitate questioning. And we're finding that you just want to bridge the gap. And I don't want to bridge the gap just between people. Like my mentors or at school, I want to bring this into my everyday life. So... Questions for kids. Tell me more. Then what happened? How did you feel about that? Simple questions that probes their thinking. Now for other people who I am mentoring, I want to say things like, in what way did that what were the challenges or, or what would you do differently next time? What surprised you about this activity? What did the activity shed light on or what was good or bad and was it achieved? So those are kind of things that I want to do. We want to add value to children's learning. And so by asking the questions about tell me more, then what happened? How did you feel about that? They're just general questions, but it makes them actually stop and think. And obviously you can only do this with older kids over the age of like three or four. Um, but yeah, so it's awesome. So yeah, 
growth is good and I feel like I am growing a lot and I don't know if anybody can see that in my um yeah I don't know I would like to know if people can like see that I've grown hopefully in a good way in the last like I guess I've been doing this again for like two years now, two and a half, almost three years. Because I think at this time, three years ago, I was just starting the fertility journey again. Um, yeah, so it's mind-boggling. I think it's been like another three years since then. Um, yeah, another three years of roller coaster. But anyways, I'm going to go because this is keeping getting longer and longer. <laughs> Have a great uh, Friday for most of you and Saturday for anyone who watches around this part of the world.